This is your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com, your boy is back and out and did it again. I'm here to introduce a new section, right? So we basically creating new ideas, new content for you guys. And thanks to the subscribers, they sent me a lot of good ideas, right? So one subscriber sent me this idea of like, hey, can you go into this website and figure out what did they use and just let me know exactly what libraries, how they did it and yeah i guess that's gonna be my new challenge now right so this is what i'm gonna do he sent me this website the chick-fil-a uh i'm not a really big uh chicken type of dude <laughs> i actually don't eat chicken but um yeah uh basically we're gonna go in here see what they got i hear that the food is great from over there right so there's an animation okay cool all right i mean this right here i've seen before this stuff is could be used from scroll magic there's also another library uh that does this uh pretty good that every time that you scroll it's a new page all right but let's continue looking at it okay there's an animation i could definitely see that there's like some tweens animations in here uh because most of the stuff can i mean it can be done with css but it's not gonna come out as smooth and nice as with tweens and tweens is a library all right gsap it's called gsap actually so let's see let's continue what else they got all right as you can see that's probably done with uh svgs let's see what else okay a little animation and that's about it it's a very simple page it's a single page app it's very simple now let's look behind the scenes right i bet you it has tweens i bet you it have scroll magic who wants to bet money with me right <laughs> all right so let's go here to the network let's refresh this and let's click on javascript let's see what they got all right so they're using jquery which makes sense it's a simple page so use jquery okay they're using bootstrap js all right that makes sense they have a custom script here uh of course like i said scroll magic uh they have timeline which is part of gsap uh tween light part of gsap css plugin.js never heard of that one that i know of um jquery.js well, jquery.gsap all right that makes sense animation gsap um let's see yeah circle progress this is probably where they make their uh svg um that little circle that we saw before all right so just like i said they use tweens from gsap they use scroll magic and they use jquery all right now if we look here for the back end what is it that they're using it says that it's a windows server right so this is actually running windows server so usually if it's a windows server it's going to be using asp.net all right so that's pretty much it i mean it's a pretty simple website they're using twitter bootstrap you know google analytics of course um what's this encapsula i never heard of that one Okay, let me see encapsula what the hell is encapsula okay it's for cdns all right so this thing is like cloudflare that's cool so oh so they're part of <laughs> most likely is being used by namecheap.com okay Moz using them guru all right so it's a i guess they got a couple of clients but yeah this stuff is super easy guys you guys um maybe in the near future i'll create like a little a little tutorial about this stuff because i'm really i've been saving this for the last project which is the um digital design app that i've been telling you guys uh basically it's like this is what you do in a digital agency so a lot of times you use a lot of animations svgs so all that stuff i'm actually saving it for that course but i could make a tutorial for you guys here on youtube to see what you guys think 
about GSAP and you know animations in, in general, right? So yeah, man, this that was it. <laughs> I mean, this website was so easy to find out, man. Like you know, sometimes all you have to do is like look into, uh, inspect the elements and look into the network and see exactly what they're using. You know, most of the time it's gonna be jQuery. You know, a lot of people would be like, oh man, they gotta use React, Angular, this and that. It's like, nah. You know, you're not gonna use something that is heavy like that, like a full framework for something so simple as this. Like this is just literally just a single page app. Like me personally, I would have built it with um hyper app because it's so simple. Right? Um, but yeah, and then they have like a signing page which is using bootstrap. Uh Okay, so oh, this is interesting. So they actually the page where you land is not really where you log in, right? So they have a whole different server. This is important because a lot of times people don't notice this. Like you're in a website, and then out of nowhere, the website kind of looks a little bit different. Usually, what happens is you're on a whole different server, right? And that's what it is like right now we're in a whole completely different server this is not this is definitely not asp.net right and that's like one of the things i always tell you guys you know a lot of these companies they use multiple stacks like there's certain parts like if you look at macy's.com some parts they use uh asp.net then you go and log in and then they're using node.js and then you log in somewhere else and then you see that they use PHP for it and then you're like wait what so you know they have microservices right so people what they do is they create like let's say if I'm a I'm a team that's using uh, ASP.NET and we're like okay we're comfortable with ASP.NET and we want to use ASP.NET for the home page a lot of times uh, they'll set up the, the home page on an ASP.NET server and then somewhere in the back end is connected to somewhere else somewhere where it's more secure or they might use a third party to actually use uh, the logging authentication like you see like here like this is probably like a third party company that they're using here because of the way how everything looks I don't think this this is part of uh, chick-fil-a itself I really think it's like a third party maybe let me see if I could figure it out let's see if we could figure it out <laughs> all right so it's uh tags let me see let me refresh this see what we could get what information can we get out of this page okay Red Hat Enterprise you see so this is a whole different system this is not the same system that's being served in the home page at all. This is completely different. Yeah, so most likely is like they're using a, a third party for their authentication and to keep things secure. You know, like all these companies, what they care about is having things secure. The worst thing that you could do is get hacked. You know, there's a lot of bad companies out there who don't pay attention to those but <laughs> those things but you're supposed to take care of yourself and and like really you know, not let yourself get hacked right so a lot of times they use a third party i've seen companies that actually connected to uh, uh paypal's third party or like they'll connect to um how you call it like apple pay uh on the apple website so there's a million ways to do this right but yeah going back to the original site man this is just like super simple animations gsap look it up you could come here and say scroll magic gsap all right so this is the animation uh library that they use that they actually using this is super easy I mean, I'm not gonna, I'll be honest, I'm not gonna say it's easy. This is not easy. <laughs> GSAP, uh, GSAP is not, it's not easy. It's something that uh, you could get nice with, you know, with time, but it's definitely not easy. It's something that you specialize in. You know, a lot of people will be like, oh man, I, I love the, the back end. I love doing this and that. I need to be a full stack. But at the same time, you could literally just 
specialize with you know animations and you know uh, building cool stuff on the web like there's a, a a group of people out there that get paid a lot of money when i mean a lot i mean a lot of money for this stuff man if you get really nice with gsapping animations trust me guys you're going to get hired by major uh design firms and and, you know, once you're in, you're in. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I know a friend who, who has worked in, like, Nike. Uh, he has then he did the Adidas website. He did, like, um, a whole bunch of stuff, man. Like, they even moved them to London. Like, if you really nice with it, like, you could really become very, very um, powerful with this the Zyberry of GSAP. There's this company, I think it's, let me see if it's Geeky, Geeky Boy Games. Let me see. I'm going to see if I find this company. Uh, let me see. Uh, maybe I'll figure it out later. There's a company. This is Game Boy Geek. Is it this one? There's a company in England that that's what they specialize. Uh, let me see. Uh, Game Geek Boy Games Cartoon Network. Oh, uh, where is it? Let me see if I figure it out. If I figure it out, I'll give you the company so you guys could take a look at what they do. Uh, Cartoon Network Football. Man, what's that? Well, the Toon Cup, yeah. What's the name of this company, man? I can't. I know it's a geeky boy or something like that. <laughs> God damn Mario. <laughs> but yeah, they basically looked this up. Toon Cup Football Games Cartoon Network. Um, they basically created that. And they're a huge company in England. And they pretty much, they built a lot of companies. Like, cool little things like that. Like, I don't know if you guys remember when you go to, uh, let's say you buy a, buy a, a, a cereal from frosted flakes right when you know how they say have like little codes in the back where they'd be like oh go and play this game on on the frosted flakes website and this and that like those guys they build those games right now there's a whole bunch of companies like this all over the world you know digital agencies that you know big clients come in and tell them hey can you build us a cool website with nice animations and this this and that and they get paid a lot of money. Usually, it'll be like something like a single page app, like that Chick Fil A website. This probably some digital agency probably got like twenty, thirty thousand dollars for this, right? Now, is this website difficult? No, just this landing page alone is probably gonna take, I don't know, maybe two weeks, right? So after two weeks, they create this thing and they get paid thirty thousand dollars. The owners of the digital agency get paid the most. But the clients, um, they they understand. They're like, okay, we're getting top dollar stuff, you know. It's not like we picking up this guy from uh, <laughs> uh, from Elance.com or something. Like, there's like legit companies. All right. So, anyways, man, if you have any other website that you wish for me to look at and tell you exactly what technologies they're using or how they built it, let me know. I'll help you out and I'll look at it. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys later. This is codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go to my website, codingphase.com. When you go to codingphase.com, man, listen, you are getting pretty much like real life projects, man. Real life projects and real life scenarios. You know, I have a whole bunch of courses here. You know, I will say, Try to get the get all access pass to get all of the courses 
in one shot, right? So for one, the price of one, you're getting all the courses for that month, right? Now, if you say, hey, I just want to buy one course, that's fine. You could just buy one course. That's on you. Or you could look at the description below where I have a link to Udemy and the best courses on Udemy pretty much. All right. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you like this section where we dissect the website and we talk about it? Um, yeah, so this is going to be a cool new thing. I'm also releasing before I leave. I'm also releasing a couple of videos like uh, portfolio reviews. Uh, I don't know if maybe today or tomorrow, but keep a lookout for that. Those videos have been recorded. It's just a matter of time for me to release them. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bow.